Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the one-handed mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. Today we have two snow blowers. I'm going to show you the reason of this video is why we have side skid shoes. Every snow thrower should have these skid shoes. They may look different than others. This guy here is on this one here, and then these guys here are plastic. I kind of like the, the Palmer because when it's snowing outside, these actually, they don't wear that, that much as opposed to the metal ones. Because they're plastic and snow on the ground, they just slide. But that's just the way they're going, and we have to deal with them from the metal to the plastic. Now, I want to show you what happens when you do not use your side skid shoes. So from above here, I want to show you that this, this is what they call the shave plate. And this plate here is very, very worn. I mean, it's, it's so worn. If you look from the top, you can see how it's so worn away in the, its curvature over here. Now, let's go over to a snowblower that has a brand new one or at least a very good condition one. This is the plate here, and this plate, I'll lift this up, this plate is nice and straight across, and it's because, well, he, normally the, uh, the skid shoes have been adjusted properly, and that's the problem. Now, this guy over here, underneath, it's really bad. He actually, he wore away his barrel. The barrel right here is being worn away right here because he did not um, have the shave plate adjusted properly with the side skid shoes. So now he's worn out his barrel. If he wants to correct this 100%, he has to replace the whole barrel on the machine. And most people are not going to do that. So today I'm going to show you that it's a simple adjustment. And a lot of people, they don't want to take these skid shoes and adjust them because they would rather have the, the driveway cleared the best they can and that is not the way to keep your machine from wearing out but i understand it totally as far as having no no uh, remnants because what it is is these two what these two plates right here technically you're supposed to have an eighth of an inch of air gap between your shave plate and the concrete or the asphalt and you have to adjust them so i have these two plates right here so what we're going to do is we're going to use these plates we're going to put them underneath this sheet, the shave plate on the machine, okay? Just lift up, put them down, and whatever you have at home that you can use, just to put an air gap between the, the ground and the shave plate. And yes, you're gonna have a little bit of an air gap, and people sometimes don't like that, but you're gonna use a half inch socket or a 9 16th, depending on your machine. You're gonna loosen up your, your uh, side skid shoes. Just loosen them up. I tend to loosen both of them up before I go ahead and tighten them back down again. So we'll, since we're on this side, we're going to go ahead and tighten this back down. Tighten the other side back down. Now you're going to slide it back off of the plates or lift it up. Usually snow blowers aren't too heavy. You can just lift it up. And there should be an air gap. So you put a flashlight behind, you'll see the air gap, okay? So that's what you want. You want an air gap all the way across, and that will actually allow you to still blow snow just the way you should and keep this shave plate from wearing out. If you do that, you should have no problems and the longevity of your shave plate should be forever. The skid shoes right here, that's one type. This is another type. And they have many other types. There's about two or three other types that you can that are used on different snow blowers. As long as you're adjusting these, and th these, this is nice because you can actually flip them upside down. So you can use wear them out on top, flip them over, and wear them out again on, on the bottom. Uh, these you can only wear out, and they only have a little bit. Now, granted, they're metal and they should last a long time, but it depends on your driveway too. So these are nice because you can flip them. They are plastic. They tend to not wear like crazy because in snow, it's very slippery and the plastic seems to glide fine. Uh, it depends on your drive and on how rough it is. And it depends on how these are gonna last. Uh, the metal buns have been around forever and it's they're, they're nice. They do wear out and you can't flip them. Some of the Aryans and some of the other older models actually have the bottom is on the top so you can flip them. Uh, that's nice, uh, but these are, these are two different side skid shoes. So that pretty much sums it up for how to adjust and save your sheave plate. And like I said about the other one, the other, the other machine over here is definitely, this one here is so worn out. He actually, it wore out so bad that we're missing the bolts on this corner are actually, they, they ground through and they wore out. 
And that's what happens to all these bolts under here is that they'll have really, they get ground down to, to nothing. And then you won't, it's a really hard to get them out too. So this should have been caught. I actually mentioned this to the guy last season and he didn't want to do anything with it. So now the barrel underneath is actually hammered. So it is what it is. He's probably going to wind up getting a new machine unless he wants to replace all this. I know he's not going to. So that pretty much sums it up why we have these skid shoes. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave it below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate everybody watching my videos and I will catch you guys on the next one.